This project started as a concern from residents about the health and wellness of Magnolia River. Issues such as flooding, nutrient loading, and high levels of pathogens were among these concerns that they wanted to address with projects um, and grant opportunities available in coastal Alabama. This community has shown great respect for the river. In 2009, they strive to meet the Alabama Outstanding Waters designation from the Alabama Department of Environmental Management and receive that classification in December of that year. The Alabama coast saw two hurricanes from the 2020 season affect our area with storm surge and heavy rain. Our communities experienced the same flooding that was witnessed in 2014 with houses outside of the flood zone flooding along Magnolia River. This led new homeowners to be interested in our efforts and a renewed interest from our partners in the outcomes of this report. This project looks to create a feasibility report of turning a dirt pit or a borrow pit into a constructed wetland. Volkert Engineering has been contracted to look at different variables such as acquisition options, modeling, and design techniques to achieve our ultimate goal of reducing flood risk for the community. The data we need for the project is going to consist primarily of a tabletop review in the initial phase, which will consist of pulling together available GIS data, primarily LIDAR contouring that's available through the county, uh, existing wetland mapping that's available through the county, as well as parcel numbers. Um, we'll also pull together any previous uh, hydraulic or hydrologic studies. Um, and once we've aggregated all that data and kind of distilled it down, we then transition into a uh, field phase where we go out and we do field investigations using that data. And these rain events are definitely more noticeable now because of the development that we have. And, uh, you know, you take away some of the farmland and some of the timberland and you build on it and you build houses and you put parking lots and you know garages and uh, driveways ball fields and schools so we definitely have uh, water shedding off these properties very quickly going into the water system and uh, there's definitely a noticeable difference um, that I've noticed in the last 10 to 15 years of my life here in South Baldwin County. Before we um, approached the town of Mag Magnolia Springs and, and Baldwin County um, we did look at other areas uh, along the watershed of Magnolia River that might be possibilities and we felt like this is the best location because it gives us a great opportunity because of the configuration of the river to uh, use those um, existing borrow pits for reclamation of the borrow pits but at the same time reuse and repurpose those borrow pits uh, into a constructed wetland without the challenge of having to remove all the material that you would say if it was not a borrow pit. So yes, we definitely think this is a very good spot for a constructed wetland and stormwater treatment system. I think it would be a great idea to um, push that water into a, like a, a little mini delta, if you wanted to call it that, and absorb some of the pathogens and the sediments, the fertilizers, and all the different things that are going to run off in there and give up a habitat for you know a lot of neat little water creatures. I think that's a great idea to catch any storm water to keep it from any way to keep this storm water from rushing downstream and carrying whether it be nutrients from a farm or pesticides from a subdivision or a golf course all of those things are real. Anything we can do to alleviate that down just a small percentage is a help in the whole scope of things and I think that's uh, if, that's the, if that's the start of it and for things to come, I think it's a great idea to start there. The climate decisions that we're looking into for this, this specific study uh, will focus primarily on surge analysis, uh, SLAM modeling, uh, using uh, data resources like the Gulf, Gulf of Mexico uh, surge data that's provided at uh, geomsurge.org, uh, which is a wonderful resource. Um, once we've looked at that data and, and kind of paired it up with our site, we'll use that to determine whether or not our site's feasible and what those impacts may be.